Good evening. Tonight I stand before you, the elected board of education members, to appeal to your common sense and fairness. Several months ago, it was brought to the community attention the continuing problem of attendance at NFA. This time it was concerning our star basketball players. Yes, it is very clear that our educational system is not falling. We have major needs that must be addressed. There is not a one of us in this room that would not agree with this. Take last year, when the problem that has been facing us rose again, and this community said something has to be done. That this wasn't a, but this wasn't a new thing. Board members, teachers, and parents spoke about it long before. But the problem was swept under the rug. Let us not talk about it. It will go away. Well, it didn't go away, thanks to this community. And we now know that there has to be people who let this happen. <coughs> Just look the other way. We don't deny that there had to be persons who dropped the ball. And we agree that there has to be consequences. Throughout the year, this community has stood with the board, even on issues that we disagreed with, yet we trusted your judgment. We have talked about the life of administrators and teachers in proportion to the student body being majority of people of color. Yes, we let that go. And then we talked about how students of color are being tracked. Oh yes, we let up on that one as well. Over and over, this community has taken the high road, hoping and praying that one day you will get it right. Well, tonight, I'm standing before you saying, this one, we aren't waiting for you to get it right. We know your common sense and fairness will prevail. The problem of poor attendance has been existing for years. The attendant record, the kids not attending school for years. Now the spotlight has shone on the basketball team. And that is a problem. The question remains, what was done year ago when the youth didn't come to school? Just talk. This community did finally come together on the problems concerning the attendant record and said, before we know some person not to blame, including the students themselves. So tell me how can you target one of our most caring, qualified, dedicated administrator to be the fall guy, Ms. Boone. She not only has the respect and support of the students and her peers, she worked day in and day out brain innovative projects and recommendations to this Newburgh and large school system, such as organized ongoing daily region review study session with individual teachers, organized ongoing daily peer regional review with AP students, organized ongoing daily tutorial sessions and regional review with tutors from Mount St. Mary's College, set up periodic parents meeting by phone or in person with guiding counselors to discuss students' progress and their expectation for graduation, enrolled students in summer school 2010 courses to afford AIS opportunity for failed regional examination as well as potential for recovery for failed courses, she collaborated with community leaders, including AAU coaches, to organize ongoing academic tutorial opportunities 
as well as social emotional support. And the list goes on. This community cannot afford to lose another person of color, especially one such as she. The education, the attitude, and determination of our youth life depend on it. So tonight, I stand here representing the community, asking the board to vote to drop all charges and rescind any negative action that has been planned against Ms. Booth. We stand ready, willing, and able to provide any action that it will take to make this happen. As a long-standing member of the community, I again appeal to your sin, common sense and fairness. As Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. All right. <laughs> Anyone else wishing to speak on non-agenda items, please step to the podium and give your name and address. Again, I said my name is Bill Davis, and I come to you in this public forum to ask for your assistance. My wife and I have two children in school in this district. We found it necessary to write a letter to the CSE chair with a carbon copy to the director in late July to request a copy of the IESP from a CSE meeting that had taken place on May 18th. When we finally received the IESPs, just shy of three weeks ago, there were serious errors and omissions. We wrote and delivered letters once again to request corrections of the documents, and to date, we have not received corrected documents or even contact from the department. The school year, as I'm sure you're well aware, starts next week, and we would appreciate your assistance in clarifying this matter before then. I have copies of the aforementioned letters if you'd like to see them, and any direction you could give me would be welcome. Thank you. If you could provide copies of that to the board clerk, and then we can get it to the appropriate personnel. Thank you. After after uh, we're dismissed. 